Double one's nicer. Before I did a plain one, I did a double. And I just do the, the that one. I skip the one in between it because I only need one of them, and that's nicer. I don't think that changes what you do. If it does, you already play that. It's just you play it on the second one. You know, I go, uh, I'll show you what I mean. And I get this. No, I don't. I go. I go to the second one. That one, the little one with the little flip in it, you know. That's all, because it's nicer. It really is. I, that's why I always hated that. And I said, I can't do two double ones. One's got to be plain. And the plain would just, it lasts a long time. It's totally boring. You know, hold the chord, hold the chord, one note. It doesn't work. But that does. And it's a little, ba -da, ba -da, a little bit of it, you know. And then. Now, I'm doing it faster than it happens. It's slow. You know, it's more like. You're not rushed. Okay, the other part is mostly just the arrangement. And the only thing changed in that whole thing is I hit a chord where I was hitting a note. Um, and that was, and it's the chorus, which is, uh, the, remember what was? This is the same. Uh, ah, what is it? But the verse is, uh, and then enough time to sing it. Sounds less erratic because it's not. You know, it's not the whole thing run together as a little breather. And I think that might have a bit more sustain before it was quicker getting back, you know. But I'm doing it in time with the drum, so it, it, you don't have to think anything weird. In other words, if you're just playing a riff that keeps.